Hi guys and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In this video, I am going to show you how to build this feedback wizard having star rating system in it, which I am sure that you must have seen in many websites. Before getting started, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel because it helps my channel grow. Now let's get started. I have a file index.html which have basic HTML syntax and I have linked style.css to it. So inside the body tag, let us create a div with class feedback wizard and under that we'll create an anchor tag and we'll write the text feedback please inside the span. Now let's check it in the browser. You can see the text feedback please. Now we'll add an icon to it. So we'll go to Font Awesome website and just type comments in the search bar. Click on it and just copy the HTML code. Paste it beside the text and let's check in the browser. You can see the icon beside the text. Now let's add some styling to this text. We'll copy the class feedback wizard and we'll go to style.css. The first will give the font family to the body tag. Then we'll just paste the class feedback wizard and first CSS which we'll give is position fixed. Next we'll give some background color. Now we'll move the text to the bottom right. So for that we will give the bottom and right CSS. Next we will work on the anchor tag. First we will give display block to it. Then we will add some padding. After that, we'll change the text of the feedback place to white. So we'll give color white and we don't want this underline on it. So we'll give text decoration none. Let us increase the font size a little. Now let us change the color of the icon as well. So we'll make it golden yellow. We'll take the class name and add the color. Now let's go to our HTML page and we'll create another div with class form. And inside that we'll create a form. In the form, first we'll create the star rating system. So we'll create a div with class stars. We'll achieve the star rating system using the radio buttons. So first we'll create the input tag with type radio and we'll give name and id to it. Next we'll create the label and in the label we'll give ford is equals to the same id name which we have given in the input tag. So that both will be linked together. Now we'll go to the font awesome website and we'll just search for the stars. Copy the HTML code and here we'll give the class name of the font awesome icon. I copied the whole thing. Let me just remove this. Okay, let us go to the browser. You can see the star. We will be having five stars. So I'll just copy paste this and change the IDs and label for accordingly. So you can see the stars will increase the width of the form first. So I'll just give the width and add some padding to it. Now 
next thing which we are going to do is we will hide the radio buttons so for that we'll give this line of code Let us now change the color of the stars. We'll add the color white and I'll just keep float right and some other seasons like goes a pointer, some margin right. Now on hover, we'll add the same golden yellow color which we have for the feedback icon. So just copy this, add the hover here. Since I've already told that the radio button and the label are linked together, for that we'll give star input checked. We'll give the tilt icon then label let's check in the browser so you can see that if i am clicking on the first icon only first is getting clicked and if i am clicking on the next star the stars which are before that is getting clicked we are done with the star rating now let's create the text area we'll create a div with class form group And inside that we'll create a text area. We'll give a placeholder, send your feedback. Now let's add some CSS to the text area. We'll just adjust the width. I think this is fine. We don't want to resize it horizontally, so I'll just give resize vertical. We'll provide some height. I'll make this field as mandatory. So I'll add the required attribute over here. Now let's move on to the button. We'll create a button type is equals to button. Give the text as submit. And I'll give the class PTN. We'll add the CSS for the button. We'll give the background color, border radius. color and we'll give the width as 100% let's add some padding and adjust the margin top let us adjust the margin of text area as well So now we want only the feedback please text to be displayed. So for that we'll just hide the form. We'll give display none. Now we are done with the design part. We'll work on the jQuery. So now we'll write the jQuery code.
we'll first take the anchor tag and on click of that we have to display the form so feedback visit form dot so and hide the text so in the browser let's click on the text okay this just going away we have to add one more line of code which is e dot preventable function which will fix the issue So next thing is like the stars are to the right. We'll just bring it to the middle and just adjust the padding. We'll give the class stars and add the padding to it. It looks better now. You want to increase the size of these stars. So I'll just keep font size as twenty five px, but it has scattered the CSS, so I have to adjust the padding. Now it looks better. now we'll work on the button click first let me add the cursor pointer to the button so we'll take the form and on submit of the form we'll hide the form but this didn't work let me check why all looks good over here okay i got it like here we have written on submit but my button type is button so let's change it to submit so you can see now it is working next like on submit of the form we'll just display your thank you message so for that first let us create the html i'll create a div with class thanks and i just want to give a thumbs up icon beside it so i'll just copy the html code and paste it near the message for the thanks class we'll change the color and increase the font size we already have the golden yellow color uh, for the icons and i will just add this class to the same color next thing which we have to do is we have to hide the thank you response on click of the feedback plex text so we'll just hide that using the class thanks and on click of the submit will so that thanks dave initially we'll make it display none now let's test in the browser 
okay the same thing is happening which was happening earlier we have to add the same e dot prevent default function in the submit as well so now let's check okay the response is not looking good we'll add some padding to it looks better now just refresh the page and we'll check once more feedback please form is shown star rating we'll give some comments submit thanks for your feedback response is shown so guys with this we have completed this tutorial thank you so much for watching this video and please do like and subscribe to my channel bye take care